Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Wednesday the 26th, I believe it is today. Ooh, freeway slowing down out there. That's not good. When you don't hear it rushing by, you get worried. <laughs> anyway, it's a new day, heading off to class. Level 310, I'm amazed at how well that thing's put together. That's a very, very nice, well-made motor. Anyway, I gotta bounce. Well, I know how I ended up in the motorcycle parking because everybody else is there. You realize I'm like the only car that pulls in forward? People are obsessed with backing into things. <laughs> what is the deal? It's amazing how many cars are here and then by the time I get off, they all gone. All right, let's start a new day. Well, I guess I could talk about what we'd, we've been doing so far, lectures so far. Talking about the old F650 and why they, or G650, why they keep dragging that old dead horse up, I have no idea. It's been years since that thing was even made. What was it, 15 or something was the last year? At this point, who cares, you know? But there's still a lot of them out there. Just things to look for. And then we're talking about the scooters. <laughs> Those things are wild. Anyway, just a quick little break. I'm gonna head on back in. Never ending jets. Sorry all the shaking there. I was trying to be incognito. I'm sure I'm not supposed to record in here. But anyway, there's the G310R. Reassembled. Everything torqued down. That was a lot of fun. Now we got S1000RR to take apart. That's what my toolboxes are supposed to look like at work. There's nothing hanging in them yet. <laughs> I love these big old pine trees some look like good old southern pines boy does that bring back some memories being a young lad in the south we just got through having lunch it's 88 degrees feels like a lot hotter than that when it's standing in the sun but uh nice and warm out here everybody's sitting in there watching a an old isle of man thing i've seen a couple of times of watching it on YouTube while we're having lunch. They're catering in lunch. Wow, it was so good today. Holy moly, it was good. Remember the two weeks, the last two weeks I was here two years ago. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a deli over there called Tummy Busters. Now that's about right, Tummy Busters. It was actually pretty, pretty good food, but definitely gut bomb kind of stuff. But old Gerald, uh, the instructor I had that time, good old boy from South Carolina, which is where I was born, by the way, in South Carolina. Well, he just had a thing about that tummy busters. There was no altering. We all walked down here every day. But uh, anyway, I thought that'd be a good little walk. Come out here to the highway. And I'm going to head on back. There's the top secret area of BMW back there. We're not supposed to look back there. We're not supposed to go back there. <laughs> <laughs> again we only have one motorcycle out here I think that might be the gal in our class I think she's from Long Beach BMW that's cool on to godforsaken scooter today just wondering it's not as much fun but look that's all that's left of a scooter motor once you get all the CVT stuff off of it. Pretty wild. Whew. It's 94 out here today. It beat the predicted temperature by a degree. And it may uh may get hotter than that. What the heck time is it? Three o'clock. We get out at five, so we only got a couple hours left. So uh, I'm walking out and there's a kind of a distinctive looking gentleman stand there in all all black bmw garb and i go i said hey how you doing it kind of scared me i came around the corner i said hey how you doing and he rattled something off in german to me <laughs> i don't understand it but it was cool that would have been a good time to have the old camera going that was pretty cool no idea what he said though well 
working on scooters is decidedly not as fun as <laughs> working on motorcycles but definitely a, a learning experience man that thing is seven shades of bizarre really really strange engine very well thought out and well put together but wow I mean that makes you think of something Honda would make just overcomplicated just for the simple fact of being overcomplicated but uh, very well built it's definitely interesting but uh, yeah not as fun and um, it's basically that engine is the engine they run in the BMW i3 cars as an option where the engine runs a generator and uh, gets you an additional 185 miles or something if your if your batteries go dead or whatever. But uh, yeah, very very bizarre. It's one of the guys in class, an older VFR 750. The other one and person in class that's riding is the uh, God. I can't remember her name. She's not in my group. She rides the uh, S1000 XR. She seems super super cool. And she's only been riding for like two or three years something like that just never thought about motorcycles ever and out of out of nowhere she decided she liked motorcycles went to mmi and got a job at a beamer shop and they're sending her through training that's cool as heck that motorcycle life man using the elevator spend more time waiting on it than just going down the stairs plus it's better for your health <laughs> going to the daggum mall because I can't deal I'll deal with that I can't deal with uh not having a freaking pocket knife do you guys, you're probably just like me. How how long can you go through a day that you don't use a pocket knife for something? Just little dinner things, trying to get things open. I can't get into anything, so I'm just going to go to the mall, buy some cheap knife, and give it to somebody at the end of the class. Say, Here, have a knife. <laughs> Driving me nuts for the last few days. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go to the mall. Here we are, the big old mall. I think it's called Ontario Mills Mall. Kind of cool, huh? It's kind of cool that improv theater's got that old classic look to it. Cool stuff. You guys remember that crazy thing? Rainforest Cafe. Pretty cool, huh? It's like eye candy in here. It's really cool. Oh no, I'm under a mushroom. Well, that was a total bust. Apparently finding knives is about as hard to find in California as finding a um, gun shop or something. <laughs> if you want clothes, shoes, you know, even the little kiosk things, you know how they always have little trinkets like pocket knives and all that kind of weird things. Um, if you're not looking for cheap jewelry, perfume, or iPhone cases, um, just forget it. Lots of clothing in there though, and shoes, and that kind of stuff. Here comes the Street Glide Special. It's an older, pre-Project Rushmore. That's alright. She looks real nice. There's a Big Five Sporting Goods. I don't know how far. 2.6 miles. Let's see what see what they got. I wonder, I think you can throw like a pocket knife or something in your luggage. I'll have to look at the airlines to see. I'm just gonna get something cheap. I just need a little something. I'm trying to use a, a plastic butter knife from a, one of those little kits with forks, knives, and spoons. That don't work very well. Keys and everything else. And I, and I have no keys, there's just some little emergency key on with this thing. Other than that, just a little plastic nub. It's crazy. Just amazing how often you need a knife. Maybe it's just a guy thing or something, I have no idea. Well, here's the Big Five Sporting Goods. 
check this thing out and see what we find. All right, success. Well, I guess this is the first time I drove this thing in the night. It's all lit up in here. I don't think this is gonna work out very well for this Hero 5 session in this low light. <laughs> but give me a second, I'll show you what I got. Just a little small Kershaw. I just found something that was on sale and dug it. Well, I didn't take it, I purchased it. <laughs> just a cute, little cheap. One of those quick, quick draw, quick release, whatever they call it. That'll work. Just need a simple, just a simple pocket knife. Normally 44, they had on sale for 18. There we are. So uh, somebody, somebody commented that uh, the Hero um, Seven Black will be released tomorrow. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Maybe I can snag one from Best Buy or or something. We'll see who see who has them be kind of cool we'll test out the low light capability of that bad boy all right already a few minutes past past sunset boy around here sunset hits and twilight don't last very long it's like boom it's dark <laughs> that's where the sunset was poor little hero five session She's probably about ready to blow up, trying to freak out, I'm trying to figure out how she's gonna deal with this here loop. God dang it. I'm gonna hit her. I'm gonna clear it. Look at that. There was no way I was gonna clear that, but somehow or another I did. You always wonder where, how high the fender is and if you're gonna get a curb shot with your front end. Alrighty back at the homestead for the next two weeks well less than that now we're clicking the days away tomorrow's thursday already hot dang all right get my little knifey knifey and what else do i got down here oh my phone all right i'm gonna roll out <laughs> well hello <laughs> hello there youtube back with the little woman again there i is <laughs> this little woman's been catered around town by our two boys tonight. I know it got all spoiled. Like. Yeah, they all went out to eat and had them yeah, sounds had a good fun. old good old time. Boys taking care of the mama while the old man's away. <laughs> <laughs> so did, did you have a good day today? I didn't even talk to you. I just texted you a few times. I know it. Yeah, it's a good day. That's good. Give me a drink of water here. Ah, pardon me. <laughs> well, today at school, we're supposed to uh, we're supposed to get on the S one thousand RR, but the other group wasn't done with it, so it was a filler, which turned into a whole project that took longer than the G three ten, and uh, we're starting to go back together with it now. But a uh, a C six fifty GT scooter motor. Oh, good lord. Good lord, there's a lot of parts in that thing. I think there's more parts in that thing than an S1000. It's the craziest thing how you take it apart. I mean, just just the bizarrest thing ever. But it's cool, though. It's well made. It's, I mean, shockingly well made. You know, that's that motor's made by Kimco. And um, they've been doing it for years. And I guess they got, I guess they got it all figured out. You don't hear too many problems when we have our little morning discussions. They talk about things, you know, and and uh, the, the scooters, not one of them. They can have some, uh, when you get up to like 24,000 mile service, though, it is, uh, it's pretty extensive and uh, apparently expensive. I've never, the only services I've done is uh, early services on them. But anyway, not as fun as working on that G310R, but, you know, that was a fun motor. In fact, the other group is going to start on the 310 in the morning while we finish up the C650 and then get on to the uh, the 1000. But uh, they're they're interested just like we were to do it. 
They go, you want to do an old G650? And we're like, why? And he goes, why would you want to? He goes, you don't have a 310 around? He goes, well, there's one supposed to be shipped here. And it was there. And it's got an old, uh, good God, I don't even know. It's not a K2X, but it's an old cable transmission thing kind of attached to the other side of the of this crazy looking engine stand that the 310 was on but we don't care it was still fun to work on oh well, uh, that's cool well i'm glad you had fun tonight that's cool yeah well, had you some... that was a you and i we got to go to that restaurant that's really yeah, really nice those pictures are cool it's right on the yeah, columbia right next to the, yeah yeah she went to this thing called um Tap oh, out. Tap, tapiana? Something oh, like tapiana. that. Tapiana? Something. It's, it's a Mexican restaurant over there in Rainier, Oregon. It's across the big bridge there. And um, her and the boys went there. That's kind of cool. And Ryan's new, new girlfriend. She is a doll. He, yeah. sa he says she he just loves her to death. She's just a good old gal. <laughs> she's like oh, old. Oh, she's funny. Oh, she's just giddy as all get out. Oh, yeah. She's just cuter than a bug's ear. Oh, just so sweet. I can't wait to meet her. Yeah, we uh, had fun. We laughed the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, Mama, I'm going I'm to let you go on this, and then you and I will we'll sit down and have a little one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Thursday or Friday are wonderful. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see what we can conjure up at school tomorrow. All right. All right. We'll, we'll see you guys. Thanks for okay, watching. Bye-bye.